你觉得我哋中学嗰段系唔系爱情啊？ How did you become involved in this project? And as co-director, how did you collaborate with Candy to create the look and feel of the film? Uh, actually, this film is um, based on our common friend, a true story. And okay, I still remember that time uh, she told me this story, and I said, "Wow, I have to make a movie." It's like a Hong Kong story. It's so belong to Hong Kong. You know, when I when I was a secondary uh, school student, and um, uh, I have some uh, friends, they're girl or they're female, and they have similar things happened. And you know, Candy is studied in a um, uh, girl school, so she really under understood what is going on, and I really touched by um, her really true story. And that's why we want to make this uh, uh, really Hong Kong story movie. You had two elements that kept visually popping up: water and feet. Now, mm. water is symbolism is beautifully used and and somewhat more apparent. But what was it about the feet that spoke to the story? If if you you see this movie, you you saw a lot of close up because we want right. because we want the audience. Focus on the a little bit move something like the the, the eyes eyesight and maybe the the the, the mouth have a little bit uh, change. It represent a lot. So uh, not exactly only the, the the feet and 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 water. Water especially is the water and the feet is not well, water the, especially. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Not only the the feet, but but maybe maybe uh, uh, it represents um, her uh, movement. It representing the the emotion, so we don't want only the, looking the, at the face, you know the body language is uh, representing the, the character. So we're using this um, this symbolic uh, uh, part to representing the emotion. I noticed you had a lot of uh, erotic elements without really overtly showing the erotic or showing the elements of eroticism. Was that an intentional thing? Did you want to ha have sex with no sex, basically? Mm, actually, we want to focusing on the love, not um, the sex scene. But uh, you know, uh, sometimes I I I think movie is a uh, providing a dream for the audience, uh, and right. we always thinking about try to using absent to representing something rather than they provide all the image for you. But you know, as a man, you know, when you've, you give me all the stuff you, 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 we, we want to see, then there's no fantasy. So for me, right. I would like to provide a fantasy for the audience, especially for, 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 the, for the guys who love this movie. And you know, we want to uh, provide a pure, pure feeling. It's only focusing on love, okay? So you and Candy are defining love and and the characters of Sylvia and Wing Nam, can you answer the question, was the love they had real love or an illusion of youth? And how does it motivate their lives going forward without giving, of course, too much away? Well, you, are we using two characters to representing different angles? Uh, it's really, is the fact that uh, there's an illusion when you're studying in a uh, school. They don't know, because they, they, they can't, uh, get with, with the um, other, other, other other man, so they will confuse. Right. They don't know what is love and friendship. So is that is the 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 the, the main point that they want to discuss? Is it really a this uh, illusion, or is really a real love? And so uh, the character Wing Lam, she think it's a real love. So she, as a whole life, she want to chase her love. She want to wait until she get it okay but uh, sylvia um from, from a point of view i think she also think is a real love but um she, right. she know that the the, the the real life she have to face and uh that she don't want to ex uh, 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 lose a, a friend because she treasured the friendship so she tried to uh have a reason that to explain their relationship. 
So, uh, in my point of view, uh, when I uh, write this character and this script, this story, uh, my preset is they really love each other. What was the acting job you felt like was a breakthrough for you? And what did you take from it that you use on every other project going forward? My personality is I can I can stop only being an actor. Because you know the the, the, the nature of of actor and director is so different. Um, yeah. when I study in the school, uh, our teacher told us you have to obey the director and the script. You have to serve the script. And I really uh, 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 agree with that. So that's why when I was a, a, a when I'm an I'm a, a actor and actor and try to obey, I try to, even though I have some thought, I would suggest. And the, the final decision should be made by the director. Because I really love my acting career. So I would be an actor until until I die. <laughs> but uh, if I have some good ideas, good story I want to tell, I will be a, a director too. This is Patrick McDonald for HollywoodChicago.com, copyright 2022.